In this lesson, we will learn how we can invert a brush because every brush have an inversion option which do opposite of, of what an actual brush is doing. So most of the brushes tend to build up material or increase volume by default. However, they can be made to the opposite and take away material or dig in. So let's see how we can do that. The hot key for this is very simple. So uh, we just got the standard brush here and you will notice as we stroke on the model, it increases the volume let me make it smaller here and then do this and you can see that it is increasing the volume of it it's lifting up my surface okay so this is what it is doing to dig in you just simply have to use the hotkey for the inversion brush what is the hotkey for the inversion alt on your keyboard but if you're using mac then option on your keyboard so if you press alt on your keyboard and then when you draw you can see that it is digging in instead of digging out and as soon i will leave my uh, alt key it will start digging out means like it will start lifting uh, it will do the opposite so here where i stopped it and you can see uh, the difference here so this was digging in with the alt and this is lifting up with the without the alt so this is pretty much what it do so one of those uh, here uh, tools uh, might be different in different cases so most brushes will behave this way, but uh, the way that standard brush was behaving, but there are a few special cases. One of those is the Damien stand brush, the your damn standard brush. So let's get the uh, Damien stand brush, uh, standard brush. So BDS, and here we have the damn standard brush. So inside the Damien standard brush, what we will do he here is that if we will draw, okay, so you can see that it is creating a crease, okay. As bigger I will make the brush, the fall off will be uh, increased, but the uh, sharpness will be there. However, if I will press Alt on my keyboard and then start drawing, so you will uh, notice over here, it's do, it will start doing the opposite. Okay, It will create the crease in the opposite direction. Can you see that? Now, this is quite good if you want to give some detail. Uh, for example, if I'm here and I want to give some detail uh, to the lips, let me make this smaller. So I can use Alt with the damage stand brush, a standard brush, and I can give some detail over here. And you can see it made a little sharper. And I can smooth some part, uh, some of this areas over here. And you can see how the brush or how the lips looks like now. Okay, so this is uh, the hotkey if of alt if you're using the damien standard brush so that means like if every brush uh, actually does not work same with the inversion they might have different but most of the time it's it, the, it's the same case of the uh, standard brush tool like the way the standard brush tool was working now another brush that special case that we already looked at a little bit before when i was uh, going through previous lessons so i i might uh, i also have told you in the previous lessons and that is the move brush so let's move to the move brush uh, bmv is the shortcut so bmv and i'm in the move tool over here now as i move with this tool you can see that it is moving the object or the parts in the direction relate uh, like you know related to the camera angle okay not related to the body direction so our object direction you can say but if i will press alt on my keyboard and then if i lift up or move around you can see that it is moving it okay relative to the direction of the my object itself okay so for example if i go here in the front and if i press alt and uh, start moving this nose you can see that it's moving in the direction of the uh, object not in the direction of the uh, camera itself so general you can see that using alt will invert the effect of the whatever brush you are using it so in some cases it is little different 
Now this will affect different brushes in different ways. So you might want to play around with all the different brushes and see how it affects your work. So just go around, check different brushes, see how the alt affect uh, them. Some of them, they are different. Some of them, they are same as standard. So I hope you have learned something about the, uh, the inversion brush or using alt hotkey when you're working inside the ZBrush. So guys, thanks a lot for watching my videos, liking them. So I need more and more subscribers. So please uh, share my videos. Give me a shout out on social media. And uh, I need more subscriptions. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it. And click on the bell icon if you have not clicked on the bell icon yet. And also, um, you can share with your friends the videos on your social media accounts and ask others. So it will help me a lot and it will motivate me uh, to create more and more videos. So until then, take care. We'll meet in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.